What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with our addition lesson. Today, we're going to be adding using expanded form up to three digits. Let's take a look at our objective today. Our objective today, today I will be able to add three digit numbers by using expanded form. Pretty simple. But first, let's rewind back to when we learned how to add with place value blocks, right? So when we're doing addition, we're bringing things together. So here you can see that I'm starting with 234. I've set that number up in my hundreds, tens, and ones chart, right? I have two hundreds for my two in the hundreds place. I have three tens for my digit three, that which is in the tens place. And then I have four ones in my ones place. So I put my four ones blocks there. Now I'm adding 193. So whenever we add, we want to start with the ones place and then go right to left. So I need to add three ones. And you can see now I have seven in my ones place, right? I have seven ones, which is why I put a seven in my ones place. I'm starting with three tens and I want to add nine tens to that. But now I have a problem, right? I have more than 10 tens in my tens place. So what we have to do here is, right, we have to bundle up 10 tens. So I'm going to bundle up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, and I'm going to bundle these up, and I have to repackage them, put them together, and give them to my hundreds place, because I can't have more than 10 in a place value. You can see that I have 10 tens here, and I'm left with a 2 in the tens place, right? So I just bundled, bundled them together. We call that regrouping. We gave them to the hundreds place. Now, 10 tens really is a hundred, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So what I'm going to do here is I put them together and I'm going to trade them for another 100 block. Now I have three in the hundreds place. Then I still need to add another one from my 193. I need to add another 100. And when I do that, you can see that I have four 100. So my answer to this question is, 427. Again, it's important that you understand the place value. When the four is in the hundreds place, that's telling you that you have four hundreds. When there's a two in the tens place, that's telling you that you have two tens. And when there's a seven in the ones place, that's telling that you have seven ones. Let's take a look at how we can add with the expanded form because really we're doing the exact same thing, except we're going to be doing it with the value of each digit instead of place value blocks. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm, I can still do the hundreds, the tens, and the ones chart, okay? But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to write down 234 in expanded form. I had two hundreds, right? So that's 200 plus three tens, which is really 30, plus four ones, which is a four in the ones place. And then I'm adding to that 100 plus 90 plus three, okay? So when I'm doing expanded form, I'm just writing the values of each digit instead of showing them with the place value block, okay? So again, when I add, I go right to left. So four plus three is seven, all right? 30 plus 90 is 120, but I have come to a problem. I can't have more than 10 tens in a place value. So what I have to do here is I have to give the 100 over here to the hundreds chart. I have to bundle together that 100, which leaves me with 20 right here, okay? And it's the same thing I just did with my place value blocks, except now I'm showing my expanded form. I'm showing the value written as numbers. So now I add these together and I get 400. And so my answer is 400 plus 20 plus seven. So when I put that back together, I have a four in my hundreds place. I have a two in my tens place, because two tens would be 20. And I have a, oops, sorry. And I have a seven in my ones place because seven ones would be seven. So the sum of these two numbers is 427. As you can see, it's the exact same thing we were doing with place value blocks, except now we're just doing it showing the value. Let's take a look and name the steps that I just did. When you're adding using expanded form, here are your steps. Step number one, you're gonna write both numbers in expanded form and line up the place values vertically, right? I had my hundreds, tens, and my ones chart right there to make sure I put my ones and lined up all my place values. I lined up my tens place value and I lined up my hundreds place value. Step number two, we're going to start with the ones place and add each place value going from right to left. Step number three, we're going to regroup if we make a 10. Okay, so if we make 10 tens or 10 hundreds or 10 ones, we have to regroup that to our next place value. And then step number four, we need to put the sum back together. Okay, it's going to be an expanded form. We have to write it in standard form or numerical form. So we got to put it back together. Let's use these steps and do this we do problem together. 
this we do problem should be in your notes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to estimate. So I'm going to round 365 to 400, 236 to 200. And I think my answer should be about 600. Okay. Now, again, our estimate doesn't have to be exact. I just want to make sure our answer is reasonable. If we thought our answer was going to be 600 and then we get 87,000, we obviously have done something wrong. Okay. So first step, I'm going to write my numbers in expanded form, lining up my place values vertically. So here I have my hundreds, I have my tens and my ones. So I had a three in the hundreds place. So if I have three hundreds, that's worth 300. I had a six in the tens place. So if I have six tens, that's worth 60. And I have a five in the ones place. And I'm going to add to that 200 plus 30 plus six. Now, when I add five plus six, that's going to give me 11, right? Cause I'm gonna start my ones place, I'm gonna add right to left, but I have a problem. I have more than 10 ones here. I need to package them or bundle them or the math term is regroup my 10 ones and send them to my tens place. And when I do that, I'm left with one, right? If I have 11, let me just show you over here what I'm doing. And I break apart 10, that leaves me with one left over. So the 10 goes to the tens place and my one stays in my ones place. Now I add my tens place up. So I have 10 plus 60 is 70 plus 30 would be 100. So that is 100, but there's a problem. 100 is 10 tens, and I can't have more than 10 of a place value. So I need to package this 100 up and send it to the 100s place, okay? And when I do that, and I regroup that 100, I'm actually left with zero left. And it's okay if you're left with zero, all right? It just means you didn't have anything left after you regrouped. Now when I add these together, I get 400 plus 200 would be 600, and I have six hundreds, okay? So my in expanded form, my answer is 600 plus zero plus one. I want to write that in standard form. I want to write that as a normal number that I would see every day, okay? So I have a six in the hundreds place. I have a zero in the tens place because I had zero there. And I have a one in the ones place. So the sum of these numbers is 601. And that's pretty reasonable because my estimate was 600. <laughs> Let's do a U-try problem together to practice this skill. All right, here's our U-try problem. If you already tried this one by yourself and you can regroup and you're ready to go, go ahead and push pause, solve it, and then push play to check your work. Don't forget to estimate first. If you need to do it again as another example, another we do problem in your notes with me, don't worry about it. Growth mindset, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. You can just do it as another we do problem. Okay, hopefully you just paused it and you tried it. So first thing I'm gonna estimate, 865 is gonna round to 900. 45 is gonna to round to 50. So I think my answer should be somewhere around 950. If I get an answer like 901, that's pretty reasonable because that's close to 950. If I get an answer like 91, that's nowhere close, okay? So again, your estimate is just to help you figure out if your answer is reasonable. If you get 5,065 as your answer and your estimate was 950, that's not reasonable. But if you get 1,000 as your answer, and your estimate was 950, that is pretty reasonable, okay? So we're just using it to kind of check our answer. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, step number one, I'm going to write out 865 in expanded form. So I have an eight in my hundreds place, which is 800. I have a six in my tens place, which is worth 60. And I have a five in my ones place, which is worth five. And I want to add to that 45. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and write down my hundreds, my tens, and my ones chart to help me keep my place values lined up. Because when remember, we're lining up our place values when we're adding. Your 40 cannot go underneath your 800. Because your four is in the tens place. Your 40 needs to be underneath your tens place. It is totally okay not to have 100. What you can do is just put a zero here to help you make sure you're still lined up. The other thing you could do is you could use your addition signs to make sure your place values are lined up. Okay, if you line up your addition sign, then your ones and your tens and your hundreds will be lined up. And then I have a five in my ones place, so I'm going to be adding a five right here. All right, you don't have to put the zero here in the hundreds place. I just do it to make sure that I'm neat because I know the hardest part about math is being neat. All right, I'm gonna bust out the purple pin here. So five plus five is 10. I do have a problem here though. I can't have more than 10 ones in my ones place. So I need to bundle my 10 ones together and send it over here to my tens place. And I actually, you could circle it up here if you want. I like to circle what I regroup. It just helps me 
know that it's up there so I don't forget to add it later. And when I did that, okay, I gave 10 away. I have nothing left, so I'm just going to put a zero right here. Now I'm going to do 10 plus 60, which is 70, plus 40, which is 110. Shortcut for this is add your ones place. That's zero. One plus six is seven, plus four is 11. So that's 110. Uh-oh, I have a problem. I can't have more than 10 tens in my tens place, okay? And the reason is because we're a base 10 number system, but you know, we'll learn about that as we go. What I need to do is I need to bundle together my 10 tens. 10 tens is 100, so I'm going to bundle 100 over here or regroup that. I like to circle it just for fun. And when I took out my 100, okay, just to show you again using some number bonds, when you take out 100, you are left with 10 left, so I'm left with 10. Okay, so in my tens place, I have a 10, and that's okay because that's only one group of 10. Okay, now I have 100 plus 800 plus zero, which would be 900. And so in expanded form, my answer is 900 plus 10 plus zero. So I'm going to have a nine in the hundreds place. I'm going to have a one in the tens place, right? Because that would be 110. And if I don't have any ones, I need to put my zero because otherwise my answer would be 91, and that wasn't reasonable. If you don't have any ones, you put a zero in your ones place. So the sum of these numbers is 910. And again, that's pretty reasonable because my estimate was 950. <coughs> We're gonna get into our standard algorithm in our next lesson. I highly encourage you to watch that because that's a little bit quicker, but we want to do the expanded form first so that way you understand your place value. And when you're adding the six and the four, really that's a 60 and a 40, just like we did with our place value blocks. It all connects back to our place value blocks and knowing the value of each digit. Thank you so much for checking us out. We really appreciate you. We know there's lots of different options online. We'd love to have you subscribe, like and comment on the video, and check out our other songs and lessons. We appreciate you. Thank you again. Instruct the Beats, out.